Hello everyone. So in this video we will see more about the store procedure. In previous video we have seen like how actually we can create a store procedure. Okay. So suppose I have one of the table. Okay. This employee table I have. Okay. Now this is the employee table I have. Now suppose I am putting any condition here name equal to the I am name. I am passing the name. Suppose I am passing the name Manish. So this will filter the name of the money, so all the records, it will filter it out. But as of now, what actually I am doing, I am hard coding this money, okay. But if you want to pass through a runtime, whenever you will create a, a procedure, in that runtime only if you want to this, if you want to give the name of that, so how actually we can handle with the help of the structure that we are going to see, okay. So what actually we can give? As of now, I will put name equal to the at the rate name. Okay. So suppose this is the parameter which I am creating at the rate name. Okay. Now what actually I will do? I will create a store procedure. Create procedure. What is the uh, store procedure we are creating? Let us create employee of fill something. Okay. And after that, what actually we will do? We will also pass the parameter. Suppose this at the rate name, right? This is the parameter we are passing. And let me give where care 30 or something. Okay. So this is the store procedure we are creating. And this is the query we are uh, writing, right? So what actually we will do? It will do this at the rate name, right? while calling the store procedure only we will pass the name okay now let me first create this okay this is executed now if you will what actually we will do how actually we can execute exe execute exec and the procedure name and after that we have to pass the where what actually we will do uh not where we will pass the city and uh, we will pass the name right at the rate name equal to the monies okay now if i will execute i will get to see all the records name is monies okay now if i will do like uh select from employee let me try to see what are the names we have raju okay now in this store procedure if i will filter only the raju right so I will get to see only the record, Raju's record. Okay. Like this, you can pass the multiple parameter. Like suppose we have created name, right? Similarly for the country also we can create. Let us try to create and let us try to see. So what actually we will do in the similar way, we will create a one more procedure. Create procedure. And what is the procedure name we have to pass? Let me, let me, I am giving this is a new store procedure we are creating. We are passing name. Okay. And let us pass the one more that is a country. Okay. And this is also a where I am putting. Let me give 30. Okay. And after that, what we will do? We actually try to put the query, right? So let's start from employee where name equal to the in a runtime only we will pass the name and country equal to the at the runtime only we will pass the country okay so this is the store procedure will get created okay let me execute this now uh, i think the name is already exist what actually we will do filter one something we will create now let me execute so this is the this is the store procedure we have created. Now let me pass execute this and we will pass the name equal to the monies and uh, country equal to the India. Okay. It should be a country. Uh, it should not be a and it should be a comma. Okay, and this is a at the rate. Okay, because this is the parameter we have created, right? Now, if I will execute, 
the name manish and the country is equal to the india i am getting all the records like this we can do a parameterization in a store procedure